there is nothing that cannot be found inside the blood of Jesus Christ. The same way they take the blood of a human being and they want to trace what is the problem, they will trace it through the blood. There is nothing you are looking for life in life that cannot be found in the blood of Jesus Christ. You can find healing in his blood. You can find conception in his blood. You can find, find change of story in his blood. You can find anything in his blood. There is nothing that cannot be seen inside the blood of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice one more time. Anywhere you are joining from the nations of the world, from every city in Nigeria, shout it aloud seven times. The blood of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and scream it aloud. The seventh, second time. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shout it the third time. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shout it aloud the fourth time. The blood of Jesus Christ. Scream it the fifth time. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shout it the sixth time. The blood of Jesus Christ. Say it aloud with a shout of victory. The blood of Jesus. I welcome you to blood at midnight day seven. On the seventh day God rested. I like you to begin to thank God because it shall be 2024 of rest. It shall be a year of rest from struggling. It shall be a year of rest. Please, while you are joining this meeting tonight, type it boldly. It shall be my year of rest. 2024, it's my year of rest from struggling. Open your mouth and begin to give God praise. Open your mouth and begin to celebrate God. Thank Him that you are here. Thank Him that you have access to the throne of grace. Thank Him that you can assess the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Thank Him that the mystery was not hidden. Thank Him that the mystery has been known unto you. Open your mouth and give him praise. Matthew chapter 13 verse 11. It has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom. And to those that are with us, everything comes in parable. I am a partaker of the mysteries of the kingdom. Lift up your voice and thank God that you are a partaker. You are not engaging the blood religiously. You are not engaging the blood ritually. You are engaging the blood of Jesus Christ mysteriously. That gives you access to diverse kinds of testimonies. There are testimonies in the blood. There are testimonies in the blood. There are powerful, diverse kinds of testimonies in the blood. Lift up your voice and tell him thank you. Tell God thank you that he has helped you to gain access to the mysteries that is in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and appreciate him for what has been happening from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and up to this moment, the seventh day. In spite of the technical issues we had yesterday, many were still glued, connected, and they were still blessed. Tell God, thank you, that you are a partaker of these divine mysteries. Tell him, thank you, that you are a partaker of these divine mysteries. Father, we are grateful. Awesome God, we give you praise. Don't forget what the Bible says concerning thanksgiving. It says, enter into his gate with thanksgiving and enter into his court with praise. And the Bible speaking in the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, out of them shall proceed the voice that give thanks. And he said, I will multiply them, they will not diminish. I will also glorify them, they shall not be few. Thanksgiving gives you access to a multiplication. He took the five loaves of bread and he gave thanks and multiplied. He went to the tomb of Lazarus, he gave thanks, and Lazarus came back to life. In the book of John, chapter 11, from verse 40 to 44. And the book of John, chapter 6, from verse 6 to 12. Now listen, I'm not quoting scriptures to, 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 to intimidate you with scriptures. These are scriptures that I have eaten, that are still producing awesome results in my life. Give God thanks. Let the voice of thanksgiving proceed out of your mouth. Let him hear the voice of your thanksgiving. Just be thanking him. For the power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. Handwriting and ordinances that were written against you. He blood them out by the blood. 
So I begin to praise him that evil that we are written against you for 2024 has been wiped out. Sicknesses that want to repeat itself has been wiped out by the blood. Untimely death has been wiped out by the blood. Lack and stagnation has been wiped out by the blood. Retrogression and all kinds of things that are not meant to be have been wiped out by the blood. Everything that you saw last year you didn't like. Begin to thank God because they've been wiped out by the blood. Come on, thank him because it has been wiped out the blood of Jesus Christ is an instrument that deletes it's an instrument that wipes out it's an instrument that cleanses celebrate God for the power that is in the blood and for the amazing thing that the blood of Jesus Christ is doing in your life in the year 2024 Bible speaking in the book of Colossians Colossians chapter 2 if you read from the 13 to 15 Colossians chapter 2 13 13 to 15 I want to show you something it says and you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh he has made alive together with him having forgiven you all your trespasses next verse having wiped out the handwriting of requirement that was against us the handwriting of requirement that was against us which was contrary to us he has taken it out of the way he has taken that disease out of the way and he nailed them having nailed it to the cross he has taken the sickness out of the way he has taken the failure out of the way he has taken the addiction out of the way he has taken the frustration out of the way he has taken the poverty out of the way he has taken the lack out of the way everything has been taken out of the way give God praise for what is about to happen in your life tonight celebrate him celebrate him for what is about to happen in your life yesterday I told us I said towards the tail end of it for those of us that connected on YouTube and those that are connected on Facebook, those that are connected on Facebook, there was a little technical issue and you are not able to finish it. But I did announce, if you know anyone, if you know anyone that is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, ask them to come over. The mystery of conception is about to take place. The mystery of conception. Anyone you know, please, can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? Before we go into what we have for today, can you just share it to 12 people? Can you just share it to 12 people? Now, that two people are sharing it, it's covering for the month of January, February, to December. Now, why are you sharing it? It's a seed for your testimonies. Can you just share it to 12 people? Just connect it to 12 people. Share it on your platforms and connect it to 12 people for them to join. Now, if you know anyone specifically is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, just ask them to come. Send it to them like a special invitation and ask them to connect right now because we're about to do something that will cause someone to become a joyful mother, that will cause someone to become a joyful father, that will cause somebody's story to change now. Share it, please. Please, if you're connecting with us on YouTube page, share it right now. I'm waiting for us in a moment so that we go into what we have for today. Why? You must be fruitful. Now, your fruitfulness must not only be the fruit of the womb. Your fruitfulness must not be the fruit of your body. You're going to be fruitful in all ramification. You're going to be fruitful in every ramification. Whatever that I vowed that you will not bear fruit this year, I declare today by the power that is in the blood, you will bear fruit. And your fruit will be evidential to all. Your fruit will be seen by all. Your fruit will be a testimony for everybody to see it. You will be a fruit. Now let's get back to the book of Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. The Bible speaking it says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Big question. If the life of the flesh is in the blood the question is which blood the life of the flesh is in the blood of jesus another question we will ask ourselves is that if it is in the blood what is inside this blood what is inside the blood of jesus christ ladies and gentlemen open your heart in this short teaching before we pray open your heart in this short teaching before we pray what is inside the blood of jesus christ the same way they take samples of human blood 
and they take it to a lab attendant for them to diagnose to see what is inside the person's blood, to see if malaria is there, to see if HIV is there, to see if typhoid is there. The same way they diagnose the blood of Jesus, divinity diagnosed the blood of Jesus, they saw the complement of the blood. And it became evident, it be, it's so evident that when you transfuse blood of someone that is a carrier of HIV, and you transfuse the blood to a non-carrier, the person that they transferred the blood from and they transfer, the person that extracted the blood from okay and they transferred it to another person if the other person does not have hiv because the donor is a carrier of hiv definitely the recipient will be a carrier of hiv so if they can take the blood of human beings and they realize that something is in the blood and this other person that transfers the blood to him and he becomes a carrier of the same thing that is inside the blood of a donor how do you think that when you take the blood of Jesus, whatever that is in his blood cannot Who told you that it's not going to happen? It's because you lack spiritual sense. That's why you don't believe it. So tonight I know there is conception in his blood. <laughs> there is no iota of barrenness in his blood. You can't partake of his blood and be fruitless or be barren. No way! They've told you the traces of what is happening to you is blood related, is fallopian tube related, is uh, you know, you know, you know, fibro related, is that related? There is no fibro in his blood. There is no fallopian tube that is blocked tonight. As we are about to engage the blood, every medical report, every age report, every verdict every vow the blood of jesus christ that is entering your body is turning the story around now you're going to lift up your voice and begin to declare it. whatever that is in his blood will enter my life today for the life of the flesh the life of the body is in the blood or everything happening to me is in the blood of Jesus. You're going to lift up your voice and begin to declare it. Everything that is in his blood, since there is no barrenness in his blood, since there is no fruitlessness in his blood, as I partake of his blood tonight, I am a recipient, I am a receiver of all that is in his blood. Therefore, if fruitfulness is, is in his blood, there shall be fruitfulness in my body. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to declare it and type it as I'm talking to you. Oh, of everything that is not in his blood cannot be in my blood. Everything that is not in his blood cannot be in my body. And whatever that is in his blood is now in my body. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. I am a partaker of all that is in his blood. As I drink his blood, I partake of his life as i drink his blood i partake of his fruitfulness i drink his blood i partake of his health as i drink his blood i partake of his nature can you open your mouth and begin to pray it begin to declare it. no more barrenness no more fruitlessness nothing that connects me with any form of fruitlessness starting from now in the name of jesus christ begin to declare it. whatever that is the verdict of the doctor what hey, Kayana Mataziza, please get the doctor's report now as a man get the doctor's report now whatever the doctor might have said as a woman get the doctor's report now get the doctor's report now stand upon that doctor's report stand upon it and begin to declare this prayer it's no longer in my blood yes barrenness is no longer in my blood fruitlessness is no longer in my blood the book of matthew chapter 26 verse 28 matthew chapter 26 verse 28 kayanana Ezalia katopra andalia masoko put es inklitaya rakutu yalabaka tezabara keep declaring it is no longer in my blood don't declare it listen 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 the kingdom issues the things that flows in this kingdom they are so simple that people don't know how to believe it the kingdom of darkness issues things that produces result for them are so complex what produces results for us are so simple that if you are not careful, you might be corrupted with the simplicity of the gospel. 
If you are not careful, you will not embrace the simplicity. I am telling you what to do. There is nothing we are using to produce results except the word and the blood. The word and the blood. The word and the blood. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11. They overcame the devil. They overcame barrenness. They overcame fruitlessness. They overcame frustration. They overcame sickness and diseases. By the blood and the words of our testimony. It is the blood and the word. The combination of the blood and the word can produce any result. In Egypt, it was also the blood that God asked Moses to engage and the rod which is likened as the word. Moses, Exodus chapter 4 verse 17, take this rod, Moses, take this rod with which you will produce signs. Exodus chapter 4 verse 17, we are coming back to Matthew chapter 26 verse 28. Exodus chapter 4 verse 17, Moses, take this rod, take this rod, you shall take this in your hand with which, with which you shall do the signs. Take this road. The word of God is for signs and wonders. The blood of Jesus is for freedom and emancipation. The word of God. So combination of freedom and emancipation and signs and wonders. When you bring the blood, the instrument of the blood, you also bring the instrument of the word. You bring it together. It produces result. Tonight, I declare... The combination of the scripture that says none shall be born. Kayata Reshiata Kaliana Mota Asunaman Teklita Zalabuja. None shall have miscarriage. I hear it clearly in my spirit. That woman has suffered four miscarriages last year. That woman, you have suffered four miscarriages. For that shame, you will have double this year. Because of that shame, your conception is coming with twins. And that conception is taking place this month. That conception is taking place this month. That conception is taking place this month. Begin to declare it. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Everyone that have suffered any kinds of shame. I don't know why I'm praying this prayer. Anyone that have suffered any form of shame. For your shame you are having double. Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 5 to 8. For your shame you are having double. For your shame, you are having double. Any form of shame you have suffered, declare it, accommodation shame, financial shame, marital shame, any kind of shame, you are having double. You are having double, including conception. You are having double. Isaiah chapter 61, from verse 5 to 8, you are having double. Lift up your voice and begin to declare it. For every shame you have suffered, any kinds of shame, palianda, zaliana, katu palianaba, mos unkopoto, zepre katalaba, you are having double. You are having double. You are having double. Pray like a minute. I shall have double. Double promotion. I shall have double. Double accommodation. Double properties. I shall have double. Double. Double children in terms of twins. I shall have double. I shall even have triplets. Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Everyone that are failed in business, you will have double result. Pray! Type it now. I shall have double. For every shame that I've suffered, I shall have double in 2024. Double testimonies. Double. Double in everything. Double in everything. Come on, pray it. Pray before I read the scripture. Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 5. Pray that prayer. Liabo shata mantiakutu praandelida seklida zalamanto potolu and the leader Zopatali Gata Zakatalaba. I declare grace for double Malande, grace for double Palianda Zakatoza, grace for double Ukapayana Kita, grace for double Pre Enkeli Elaboza, grace for double Payana Kateza, Esaklita. But the blood of Jesus, when he wants to deliver, it does not deliver single, it delivers double, it delivers double, it delivers double. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowman and your vine dressers. Isaiah 61 verse 5. Move to verse 6. And you shall be named the priest of the Lord. They shall call you the servant of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Can I get a better amen? And in their glory you shall boast. Verse 7. Instead of your shame, 
you will have double honor. Instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Instead of shame, you shall have double honor. I like you to declare it. The days of shame are over. We are in the days of double honor. Begin to declare it. Everything that I've made you to face shame, see shame, experience shame. The days of shame are over. The days of conception shame are over. The days of marital shame are over. The days of the fruit of the womb shame are over. Whatever that represents shame, the days of shame are over. Lift up your voice and begin to declare it. The days of shame are over. I am in my days of double honor. I am typing boldly. Typing boldly. The days of shame are over. I am, my, I am in my days of double honor. Type it. The blood of Jesus Christ. The same way it gave the Israelites access to honor access to honor when the blood was engaged it gave them access to honor i am in my days of double honor double honor business double honor conception double honor marital double honor health and vitality double honor yes property double honor. the days of shame are over pray Pray it, sons and daughters of the Most High God. Pray it, ladies and gentlemen. Pray it. Don't keep quiet. The blood gives us access to honor. Let me take you back to what I was saying concerning those that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb and those that are trusting God for different kinds of results. Okay? Everyone trusting God for any form of fruitfulness that people will see and testify God. Can I hear you type it boldly in capital letter? I am in my days of fruitfulness. I am in my days of fruitfulness. You, you will not be fruitless. You will be fruitful. So let me take you back to it. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Let me show you two vital things. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, 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 please read it again. And they overcame barrenness. They overcame fruitlessness. Devil that they overcame is the custodian of sickness. So there are two vital things, two vital tools that the angels use to overcome the devil. And I'm going to show you those two things and we are going to pray with it. What are they? They overcame anything by the blood of the lamb, one, and by the word word of their testimony so the blood one the word two god told moses take the rod one take the blood two and the rod is likened as the word and moses took the rod for signs and wonders and Moses took the blood for freedom and emancipation from every molestation of the devil in form of Pharaoh, their God, their beast, and their first son. And when they engaged the blood in Revelation, they overcame. Tonight, you will overcome fruitlessness. So, Moses took the blood and took the rod, and they overcame Pharaoh. They overcame their God. You see this night, I want to show you the rod or the word you will take. So when you hear the word, they overcame me by the blood of a lamb, that's one. That's a communion. And by the word of a testimony, what is the word of their testimony? The word of their testimony is not testimony we testify that I was sick, now I'm healed. No. The word of that testimony is not the testimony you testify that, oh, Ambrobas came and God protected you, nothing happened to you. No, that's not the word of our testimony we used to overcome. The word of that testimony is not that I am sick, now I am healed. No, that's not what you used to overcome the devil. What was the word of their testimony? The word of their testimony is what God has done through Jesus. So you take what God have done 
in his word for you you take it and present it to the devil and you pad it up with the blood two of them coming together at the same time they are two edged sword they are very sharp nothing can stop them from producing for instance none shall be barren that thing is the word of your testimony so when the devil is trying to make you feel as if you cannot conceive because of this sickness because of what you did last time you take it up and you don't pray to god you present it to the devil none shall be barren this is my ticket that gives me access to take my baby. Ah! He cannot stop the man that present his ticket from the world based on the word of a testimony. So you present it and the thing that the devil fears most is the weapon of the blood. So you are presenting the blood, you are presenting the word of a testimony. This is what has been pronounced about me. This is my testimony. Not that it will become my testimony. I cannot be barren, devil. And I declare because barrenness was not found in his blood. Therefore, I come with what is written and I come with the blood that rectifies it. Therefore, I take my children. By the time you do these two things, nothing will stop you from conceiving. None shall miscarry. None shall be barren. And he said to me, Be fruitful. He didn't say to me, Be barren. Neither did he say to me, Be fruitless. Neither did he say to me, Give excuses. Abraham, you will have children. It does not matter your age. Sarah, you will have children. It does not matter whether there is age of menopause, you are still going through your ovulation, going through your menstruation. It doesn't exist. Mary, come here. You will conceive. When God speaks, is like testimony when god speaks it is a testimony so that word that god gave to abraham that gave birth to isaac that god gave to mary that gave birth to jesus that same word is what god has given to you it will produce your own isaac write down the name of your children right now write down the name of your company right now Write, write down the name of the fruitfulness you want to produce. The, name of, the amount of money you want to be seeing every month. Write it down right now. Write it on a piece of paper where you can see it. Write it down. Type it on your device. Write it. I didn't say you should type it on this platform. Don't type it here. Don't type it here. You must be fruitful. You must be fruitful. Can you take up the communal material? Everyone understand my voice. Can you take up the communal material? What is the word of your testimony? The Bible says you shall lend. That's the word of your testimony. If you have been borrowing, you can't borrow again. And you're going to mix it with the blood. You're going to be declaring it. The devil here. You are not praying to God to now. You are declaring it to the devil. Remember Revelation chapter 12. Verse, they overcame him by the blood. So they presented the blood to the devil. They presented the word of their testimony. So you're going to be bringing the word of a testimony. If you have a healing word in your spirit. You're going to be presenting it by his stripes. I am healed. And I present the blood that he used to defeat you. So therefore I declare devil. I am untouchable. I cannot be sick again. If you have been barren. You say I shall not be barren. Hey. Hey. I hear the word. I hear the word. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 3 says, Sing! Oh, barren! Woo! Sing! You that does not have testimony. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1. 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 1 to 3. Isaiah chapter 54. It says, Sing! Oh, barren! You who have not born, who have not given birth, break forth into singing. Can, can I see someone begin to sing? Can I hear you sing? Can I hear you sing? Can I hear you praise God? He said, why are you singing? Cry aloud, you who have not labored with a child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman. Says the Lord, you are going to have multiple children, twins, triplets, quadruplets. I release them now. Share this right now. Share it. Don't be selfish. Share it. Anyone that is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, send it to them. Share it, my dear friends. I plead with you. There is nothing you are doing if you are not sharing this thing. You are not doing good. You are not doing good. The leper said what we are doing is not good. 
What we are doing is not good. That's what the four lepers said in the book of Second Kings chapter 7. What we are doing is not good. What we are doing is not good. What you are doing, enjoying this thing by yourself is not good. Share it on YouTube. Please share it on Facebook. Please share it on our social media handles. Please, can you share this? Can you share it? Share it to many people. If you have shared it to 12 people, share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. You are about to enter into a sensitive part of the prayer meeting. Type it in capital letter. Whether it's for the fruit of the womb, or fruit of your business, or fruit of your lips, or fruit of your career, or fruit of your marriage, or fruit of anything in your life, or fruit of your spiritual life, whatever it is, type it boldly, I shall not be barren. I shall not be barren. Type it very well, I shall not be barren. Type it, type it, I shall not be barren. Please share in different handles, in different platforms. Just share it now. I shall not be barren. Share it now. I shall not be barren. Share it as I'm talking to you. And type it boldly, I shall not be barren. So John chapter 6, verse 63. The word that I speak to you, they are spirit. And they are alive. The word. It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak to you are spirit. And they produce life. Take up your communion material. I want to show you some deep things and we pray. Take your communion material, ladies and gentlemen. Take up your communion material anywhere you are. I'm about to take mine. Take up your communion material. Take up your communion material, friends. Take your communion material. I'm about to show you a deep mystery that will make you to begin to jump up and down in your house. That will make you know that you are already pregnant. When God speaks, things happen. He does not need human impute for things to happen. John chapter 1 verse 14 the word became flesh and the word became flesh the word became a baby the word became business the word became healing the word became can become anything so God's word this flesh we are taking has the component of God's word and it can become anything. What did the blood become? See, the word became flesh. And we are taking flesh and blood. What did the blood become? Now we know that this flesh is the word. The word became flesh. The blood became spirit. The life of the flesh is in the blood. That means the life of the word is in the spirit. John 6.63 John 6.63 The word that I speak it has spirit. And it is the spirit that gives life. And they are alive. The flesh profit nothing. It is the blood that gives life. I speak over your life as you partake of this communion. And you are speaking the word of God. That you will not be barren. Declaring over the devil. That I must sink. Isaiah 54 verse 1 and 2. I must sink. More are my children than the children of the barren woman. Therefore as I partake of this. Declaring the word of God. I am pregnant. Ah! I am fruitful. Yeah! I am wealthy. Yeah! Can somebody hear that in the sound of my, sound of my voice? I am healed. Now, 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 not tomorrow. Lift up your voice. I bless the communion material. I bless the flesh. I bless the blood. I so partake of it. And you add the word of God to it, which is the word of your testimony. I declare you pregnant. 
I declare you pregnant. Kabayande li shata. Karushata kalia na motopa. Hakia yata tata klapato saba. I shall not be barren. I am fruitful with multiple childbirth. Ah, the flesh and the blood, which is the life of Christ, is in me. And in his life, there is no barrenness. In his life, there is no fruitlessness. Begin to declare it. Whatever that is the word that you are expecting to see, take it up and begin to declare it. Declare it. Speak it forth. Speak it forth. Just, just speak it forth. Don't mutter it in your mouth. I can't speak it for you because I don't know why you're here. Speak it forth. If it's the fruit of the womb, begin to declare it like I told you. Declare it. I shall not be barren. I'm fruitful. I'm fruitful. I shall not be barren. I will not have miscarriage. I am fruitful. I am fruitful. I'm fruitful with multiple childbirth. I am fruitful with children. I am fruitful with twins. I, because of the shame I've suffered over the years, I am fruitful. The things of the kingdom are very simple. I am not making noise here. I am leading you into a part of created news. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Conception is taking place now. Conception is taking place now. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus, I declare you pregnant. Touch a little of the communion and place it on your womb. Touch a little of the communion and place it on your head as a man. I make a declaration. I declare you pregnant. I declare someone under the sound of my voice. Opportunities are opened. I declare doors are opened. I declare gates are open. Yagada. Open your mouth and declare it. I hear the word clearly in my spirit. Wombs are open. Gates are open. Wombs are open. Gates are open. People's gates of jobs. This week, as you are starting your business, this week, as you are starting your career, this this week as you are starting your exam, this week as you are starting your school, this week as you are starting your plans, this week as you are starting whatever you are starting, God are open. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11. Wombs are open. Take the communion and continue to pray. Gates are open. Take the communion and continue to pray. Gates are open. Kalyanata. Zepro G and Deliba, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 11. He says, Your gates shall be opened continually. Therefore, your gates shall be opened continually. Therefore, they shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in procession. Your gates are open. Kalazia. Your gates are open. Braantia Labados. Your gates are open. Jupata Legledesia. Your gates are open. Moson Toklupata Laba. Your gates are open, Barante Sikata. Your gates are open, Zoproto Seclita Salamanta. Your gates are open, Bashata, Elia Kutu Braz and Delicatosa. Your gates are open, Bosote Payana Mata. Your gates are open, Maradia, Maradia, Lekatosa, Pra and Deliva, Rosh Shaklita, Zanda, Prakoto Zora. Your gates are open, Berakatia La Baba. Open your mouth and declare, My womb are open. My womb, are, my womb is open. Yes, yes, all my reproductive organs, they are open. Yes, as a man, as a woman. Yes, Kalyan, the Zikalo, they say, is sperm, low sperm count, no way. God supply, God supply. As I partake of the blood, this night, everything is a full count, is in full count, is in full count. In the name of Jesus! Take the communion. Take the communion. Listen to this testimony. Take the communion and listen to this testimony. Take the communion and listen to this testimony. Listen to it before we wrap up for tonight. Listen to this testimony very attentively. Listen to it very attentively. Many years ago, I contacted sexual transmitted disease as an unbeliever. Many years ago, quite some age, more than 20 years ago, And while I was taking medication to be okay, this disease defiled all medications. I'd like you to listen to these because you're going to pray. The disease defiled all medications. In the course of taking care of myself, running text and other things, the doctor pronounced a verdict that damages has been done. A lot of damages have been done to my reproductive system, not organ, system. And he said, I will still have intercourse, but I'm not going to have children. 
I lived with that guilt. I lived with that pain. I lived with that devastation, with that frustration for many years. Until one day, I rededicated my life to Jesus. And I came to church. And it was a communion service. And my pastor lifted up the communion material and said, this is the flesh of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. And he read a scripture from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 50 to 53. And he told us, the scripture says, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have my life. I said, so if I eat this thing, I have his life. While I was meditating, there is power in meditation. While I was meditating, it dawned on me that his life will be transfused to my life. Instead of me living my life, I will live his life. And I started praying a very simple prayer. I said, Lord, let there be blood transfusion. Let what is in your blood, let it be in my blood. Every time I take the communion, Lord, let there be blood transfusion. Let what is in your blood, let it be in my blood. Every time I take the communion, I will declare, Lord, let there be blood transfusion. Let what is in your blood, let it be in my blood. Literally, I was doing it that way. Years later, I met my wife. I proposed to my wife that I want to marry her. And our church told us to go for a test in Nigerian Institute of Medical Research in Yaba. I told my wife in open terms and clear terms. I said, this is what happened to me many years ago. And um, in case they run the test and they discover one or two things, this is what happened. My wife said, Lord, we heal you. We went for that test. They ran the test, STD test, fertility test, HIV test, all kinds of tests, blood group, every test. Lo and behold, they could not find anything in my system. My dear friends, my dear friends, listen to me, we wrapped attention. Few months later, after our marriage, few months later, my wife took it. And months later, my wife gave birth, eight months and 21 days, my wife gave birth to triplet. This is a man that they fast a verdict that he will not have children. Two years and seven months later, my wife took in again and gave birth to twins. Within a space of less than three years, we have five children. The grace that have worked for me was activated by the blood. The grace that worked for me was activated by the blood of Jesus. I like you to lift up your voice and declare that because I've taken the communion, I've eaten the flesh. There is blood transfusion in my body. Everything that used to be in my body that is not in the body of Christ, because I've taken his blood, the life of the flesh is in the blood, I begin to live his life. I begin to get his result. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. By this blood transfusion, by this blood transfusion tonight, I open your mouth and begin to declare it. Let there be blood transfusion. Let everything that is in his blood, let it be fine, let it be, let it be seen in my blood. Let it be found in my blood. Kalia, let them be checking what is in the blood of Jesus. Because if they check what is in the blood, there is fruitfulness. If you check what is in the blood, there is wisdom. If you check what is in the blood, there is integrity. If you check what is in the blood, there is righteousness. If you check what is in the blood, there is wealth. There are so many components in the blood of Jesus. Because I am a partaker of his blood. Open your mouth and declare there is transfusion. There is transfusion. There is transfusion. Therefore, I am fruitful. Declare it, I am fruitful. Fruit of the womb fruit of my hands, fruit of my lips I will be a result there is transfusion, there is transfusion Malika Poja everything that is in my blood that cannot be seen in his blood his blood swallows it up his blood swallows it up, his blood swallows it up begin to declare it, begin to play it, begin to pray it the blood of Jesus swallows every contrary things, the blood of Jesus swallows every contrary things the blood of Jesus swallows every contrary thing. It swallows failure. It swallows stagnation. It swallows retrogression. It swallows arthritis. It swallows diseases. Oh, yeah. Anyone that is having any form of pain on your leg, I just heard it clearly. Sprinkle the blood on your legs. And anyone that is having any form of pain in your eyes, sprinkle the blood. Any eye-related issue, you will see clearly. You will see clearly. Starting from now, you begin to see clearly. Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. Mala tupa is ila kuyala. I pronounce you pregnant tonight. The same way the word of God went forth to Mary. Mary did not need a man. I declare this blood is enough. 
and as you meet your husband whatever as you meet your wife whatever that the doctors might have said that is the cause of this barrenness fruitlessness i declare it is over revelation chapter 3 verse 18 says i counsel you to buy from me that's jesus speaking gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garment that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and I also ask you to anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see take the communion and put it in your eyes anoint your eyes with the communion place it like an anointing oil and whatever that have been causing any visual, making you to be visually impaired, making you not to be seen clearly, you're going to open your mouth and declare it as I've anointed my eyes. My eyes are open. Now, anoint your womb as a man, anoint your head. I declare every aspect of your life is open. Your womb is open. Lekuya, Riata, Klida, Pus, Atama. Rakletopa yanamata, rejiati akupa yanda zeketule, rakupa yanda klita zaya, rushikliti zababa. Begin to declare it. Type it boldly. Type it boldly. Type it. Every aspect of my life is open. Every aspect of my life is open. Every aspect of my life is open. Type it boldly. Every aspect of my life, it is open. Type it boldly. Every aspect of my life. The days of closed doors are over. The days of closed wombs are over. Therefore, I begin to speak forth over your life. Your womb is open for conception. Write the name of your babies down. Write the names of your babies down. If it's one, if it's two, if it's three, write the names of your babies down. Kaliju, Brozute, Palianda, Kaliepo, Topa, Yagaba, Erika, Topa, I command and I declare you have conceived. I declare Yekut, Apayanama, it's Iklita, Sandalebaba. I declare this day and this month as your month of conception. Palandele, Shukuput, it's Enklita, Baba. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Open your mouth and begin to declare none shall be barren none shall be barren none shall be barren i overcome barrenness by the word i overcome barrenness by the blood i overcome barrenness by the word 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 lift up your voice and declare it now marakutu payanda sakata i speak over everyone trusting god for the fruit of the womb as a man as a woman i was standing as a point of contact for your daughter for your son i declare death of conception supernatural conception no! Pray. Declare it right now. I'm pregnant. Call yourself, I shall be called father of Kingsley. I shall be called mother of Kingsley. They gave the name when Jesus was not yet born. And they gave the name also when Isaac was not your born. He said his name shall be called Isaac. If you cannot name that child, you will not have that child. Name that child now. Whether you want to call it by local name, by English name, by Hebrew name, by Latin name, by Spanish name, look for a name now. I give you one minute. You can Google the name that you like. Name that child. My name is Mommy This. My name is Daddy This. Now, can you name that business? Can you name that income? You cannot be called a poor person again. You cannot be called a tenant again. Name the kind of house you'll be built. You cannot be called someone that is complacent spiritually. You cannot. Name it. Name it. There's an opportunity here. Kiara Shuta Pale and Desia. Rakutu Praan Delicatosa. Rikutu Yalaba Kate Zekate. They overcame. They overcame poverty. They overcame barrenness. They overcame la lack by the blood and by the words of the testimony. They overcame barrenness by the word and by the word, by the word and by the blood. Lift up your voice and declare this prayer. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. You, you, you are an overcomer. I speak forth over your life that you have overcome barrenness. You've overcome fruitlessness. 
you've overcome every form of frustration by the blood this is the highest instrument if you know of any other instrument through which we used to overcome let me know this is the highest instrument you overcome it is done open your mouth and begin to celebrate him tomorrow we are coming back again for the second touch for the fruit of the womb anyone you know send it to them well, I want to show you something tomorrow we are coming back you, before this tomorrow is over next tomorrow we touch it again there is nothing that will stop you from being pregnant there is nothing that will stop you from being fruitful there is nothing that will stop you from being productive we are coming again and tomorrow I would like you to look out for scriptures that addresses what you want to see and then when you bring the scripture to this platform when it's time for us to overcome him by the blood you carry the communion and when it's time for us to overcome him by the word you speak for that word you speak for that word but i'm going to show you the secret of conception through the blood the secret of victory through the blood i'm going to show you those things tomorrow so don't miss tomorrow ensure that you invite people ensure you share it and please may i beg you may i beg you if you have not subscribed to our YouTube page, I know why I keep saying this. Go there and subscribe. Go and subscribe to our YouTube page. Find a way and subscribe. If you're in our YouTube nation, you've not subscribed, subscribe. I plead with you, subscribe. Share it with all our, all our friends, all our friends on social media handle, on Facebook. Share it. Share it, please. Share it. We are in the days wherein anything can happen. And I've been saying the time with that number. The blood of Jesus Christ is an instrument that we use to enforce testimonies. We use it to enforce results. We use it to enforce signs and wonders. It's a forceful instrument. It's not a gentle instrument. When it comes, it comes with force. That was what happened in Egypt. And the same way the Egyptian left Egypt. That's how you are living barrenness. I declare over your life, that's how you are living that state of lack. That's why you're living in that state of frustration. That's how you're living in that state of sickness. You overcome all the element of darkness. All the powers, principalities by the blood. The devil fears the man that knows how to engage the blood. This is an ark. And as many that will run into this ark, they are safe from every molestation of the devil. You can't be carrying the blood and be losing battle. Angels carried it and overcome by the blood of the Lamb, but you're carrying your losing, but it's not possible. Type it again. Type it now as we go. Type it. It's no longer possible for me to lose battles. It is no longer possible for me to lose battles. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray this prayer. The night they introduced the blood was the night they left Egypt. Can you just say this prayer? Tonight, everything that you want to say goodbye to, begin to declare it. I cannot see you again. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. When they engage the blood. And please, while you are doing this thing, believe it. Don't do it theoretically. Don't do it orally. Do it spiritually. Do it believing. Do it believing. Jika Paluda declared right now that as I'm engaging the blood, everything that I'm handling with the instrument of the blood, I can't see it again. So barrenness, I can't see you again. Lack, I can't see you again. Diseases and sicknesses that have woven around my body, I can't! see you again lift up your voice and pray it this is the last prayer we are taking lift up your voice and pray it violently lift up your voice and declare it lift up your voice and violently declare it I can't see you again type it type it whatever I have seen before now whatever evil I have seen before now I shall see them no more. Tomorrow is going to be a special time. I encourage you, be here on time, 11 p.m. Any of the handles you are using, be there on time. And let's engage a session of praises and thanksgiving for like 10 minutes. They carry so much weapon before we go into a session of prayer. And remember, there's always a little teaching between 10 minutes. And then we continue the prayer. I don't want you to miss it. 
As you resume work tomorrow, place a mark of the blood on your head. Touch the communion and place a mark of the communion on your head. Touch the communion and place a mark of it upon your head. We are entering midnight in African time, Central African time, CET. Place the mark of the blood on your head. It's only good and favor that will happen to you. All throughout 2024, evil is not permitted to come near you. By this mark of the blood that we are placing upon you is a mark of touch not. Is a mark of Passover. Is a mark of favor. Is a mark of attraction. Is a mark of change of story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and let's appreciate him as we wrap up. Lift up your voice and let's celebrate him as we wrap up. Tell him thank you for what he has done. Please don't forget tomorrow is a special day. Every element of barrenness, whether it's the fruitlessness of the womb or in business, come with your point of contact. Can I tell you this? Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, come with your point of contact. Buy baby things. It can be pampas, it can be clothes, it can be baby toys, it can be wipes, it can be soap, it can be anything. Those in business, bring your point of contact. Those in career, bring your point of contact for promotion. Those that are looking for a job, bring your point of contact like CV. Tomorrow is our one day of fruitfulness by the blood. And we are still dealing with a supernatural conception, everything that will help you to get results by the blood. So please don't miss it tomorrow. It's going to be a good time for us to give our offerings. I just felt in my spirit that as you resume work, as you resume business, as you resume school, whatever you are resuming, it's going to be a good time that you drop a seed in this altar. You drop a seed in this altar. You drop a sacrificial seed. The blood will be speaking for you all the days of your life. Starting from this week, the voice of the blood will be speaking for you. Don't make light of giving when you have been blessed by the word. Don't make light of giving. Please, all the details are showing on the screen. All the details are showing on the screen. I just felt led in my spirit. God placed something in my heart. Please drop a little a communion. Drop, put a drop of a communion on your legs. And just be declaring Joshua 1 3. Wherever the sole of my feet touches, I possess. I cannot be displaced. Wherever the sole of my feet touches, I possess. Joshua chapter 1 verse 3. Just be declaring it. Put a little of a communion on your leg. I speak forth over everyone that send their prayer point. Everybody that send their prayer point. I speak forth. All your prayer points right now. I declare their blood covered. And they have been turned into testimony. Luke chapter 1 verse 13. All your prayer points. Please feel free to send your prayer point. Prayer line is showing on the screen. And also feel free to send your testimony to the same line. I convert all your prayer points now to testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 21 verse 13. Luke chapter 21 verse 13. Luke chapter 21 verse 13. But it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Type that scripture as we go. Everything will turn out for me as an occasion for testimony in 2024. Everything. Type it. Don't, don't miss this now. Type it. Everything will turn out for me as an occasion for testimony in 2024. The Lord bless you. The, the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord cause you to experience favor the next 24 hours. Favor the next 24 hours. Favor by the blood the next 24 hours. The Lord cause you to conceive this same month from what you have done tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to come your way tomorrow, but please don't miss tomorrow. Share it. Invite people. WhatsApp pages everywhere. People that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Anyone you know, invite them to come over because we're in the days of supernatural conception. Until I come your way again tomorrow, 11 p.m., keep winning by the blood. See you tomorrow.